Hey guys, so recently, not uh, last weekend, but the one before that, I actually went to Horrorcon in Liverpool with some people and it wasn't really as big as I thought it would be. I thought there'd be like loads of stalls and stuff. I mean there was, but it just wasn't as big as I was kind of expecting. But I did buy a couple of things, so I thought that I would show you. Um, I also met someone and um, I've got like a few pictures from that and stuff and a few little clips of videos. I feel a little bit weird like vlogging in public so all of my videos don't really have any sound so I apologise for that and there is literally just like a few of them. There was like um, a photo set kind of thing, you had to pay £5 each and there were six different sets that you could take pictures in so I just filmed a little bit of those and stuff so I will add that in here now. Um, so that was the photo kind of place that we took some pictures and then the person that I met was Lawrence Harvey so if any of you have ever seen Human Centipede 2 he is like the really creepy guy from that so he signed this picture for me down here and he's like this creepy guy sorry for the glare of my light here but that's him and his signature and I put it in this frame just so that it didn't get like ruined and stuff um, and I also like took a few pictures with him. He was really really tiny I'm only five foot like two or three and he was like up to here on me So it was a little bit awkward. I was trying to take a selfie with him like sorry. I have big shoes on but um Yeah, so I will also put that picture in here And then like I said, I just bought a couple of things so I just thought that someone might be interested and see what I got So first of all, I got some t-shirts and um, it was two for 25 pound So I just grabbed these ones to be honest I kind of only liked this one but seeing as it was 15 for one and then an extra tenner for another one I thought I'd just grab another one anyway, but this is the one that I wanted to get it says too many people not enough voodoo dolls with a little voodoo doll at the bottom. It's just black and then the other one that I picked up was this one which is like a washed out grey sort of colour and it's just got like a Grim Reaper prison kind of thing on there. What's it called? Like a mugshot on there. And then this was like the little booklet thing that you got given. Um, I'm assuming, yeah this is for the Birmingham one that's coming up, like a little leaflet. And then we had this book that like, told you what was happening the two days. We went on the Saturday and the Sunday, so I've got those still in here as well. Um, then I got these. So these were from like a cake, a cupcake stall. They had them at the side. And I did ask if they had any business cards that I could show, but they didn't. So I'm not really sure what the company was called. But they're called Juju. I'm not sure if you can buy these online as well, maybe. Um, these are room sprays, so I have a purpley one and a blue one. This one is called Velvet Rouge Room and Fabric Spray. It says made for sweet deceit by Centopia.co.uk, so I'm not too sure, but this is what it looks like. It's supposed to smell like a uh, red velvet cake. To be honest, I think it smells a little bit bubblegummy. There was a bubblegum version that was yellow, but this kind of smells the same in my opinion. And then the purple one is Cherry Carnival, and this one is very cherry scented, like 
really really strong fake cherry smell but it's really nice so I just thought they were kind of cute and smell amazing I like the purple and the blue so I got both and I think these were eight pound each or 14 for two something like that around that kind of price anyway um, and then the next thing I got was my favorite little thing here so if you've seen trick or treat the movie this is the little sam from trick or treat so he has his little spiky lolly up here that he kills people with and he is handmade so he's not perfect obviously and um, comes on a little thing so that he can sit on a shelf has some like blood on him and I just thought this was really, really cute. This was only £10, so I thought that was amazing. Um, I definitely would have paid more for this, I think. I just think it's really, really sweet. So I got him. He was definitely my favourite little thing from the day, like I say. And then lastly, I didn't actually get these from Horrorcon itself. We just went into Liverpool afterwards and I saw these, so I picked them up, but I thought I'd show them anyway. Um, I got these Disney books. So one is called Once Upon a Dream, A Twisted Tale, and one is called As Old As Time, A Twisted Tale. So this one is What If Belle's Mother Is The One That Cursed The Beast? And this one is What If Sleeping Beauty Never Woke Up? So these are like the horror versions of... Beauty and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty. Um, this one's about like if she had nightmares and stuff and didn't wake up, etc. So I thought they were pretty creepy and cool and I bought those. They were £5 each. So yeah, um, like I say, I didn't really buy much. That was literally it, just a couple of things. There wasn't loads there and everything that was there was either really expensive or just stuff that you could buy anyway, like t-shirts and I don't know, like bags from band and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, I just thought I would do a quick little thing to show you the photo sets and the bits that I did buy, and I will see you soon. Bye.